Boom! And we're back again with Curious Radio. Curious Radio! Thanks for joining us this evening. Cool Jazz 93.7. What's up, y'all? We back. Uh, in the building. It's episode 83. And we got Carlito Olivero in the building. Put it in front of your face like this. I'll put it in front of my face. Yeah. Okay, guys, so I just want to let you know that when you can't see any part of my face, no, it's just, because see, Rick exaggerating. hasn't learned how to put the microphone in a certain angle. You do it. No, no, it's, it's got to be in front of my, fa- you see? my face. You're being ridiculous. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> dude, you're here. Uh, you're in the in, in the in the area now. You're living in Atlanta. Do you just moved? Yeah, bro. I just moved like four months Why? ago. Why? Okay, <coughs> explain this stupid fucking idea. Elaborate, please. But I, I'm kind of down with it. But okay, so I. Yeah. I've been in LA for a while, dude. Um, how many years? I know now? you. I know you were born and raised here, but yeah, but how for long? me, it's probably been about going on ten years. So, yeah. Um. So but I've you've been, lived here. I've that I've lived here. Yeah. You know. Um. Yeah. I started off with music in my career. Um. I you know was taking acting classes as a kid, but you know how I started in the industry was through music. Yeah. Um. I ended up in Los Angeles to you know. Pursue, pursue my music, and then I fell into acting at the same time. Yeah. And but why does that? Why Why you move? Why did I move? The yes. reason why I'm explaining is, okay. um, I'm not happy in LA. Why I haven't you happy? been happy. What makes you unhappy? I don't know, man. I mean, of course, I love being with my homies and you know my good friends and stuff. And yeah, I, get that. And but I what's love the missing the component? That, what's happening here? I don't know, man. I don't know. I feel like I is wish like, I I wish I had the 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 answer, but I feel kind of like. You think I'm, it's like the culture, like the city, the way the city moves or some shit? I don't, even, I don't know, man, because everyone loves it here. A lot of people do love it. Like, the weather's you know, dope. It has nothing, it's, not, it's nothing that that I'm saying that is anything wrong with L.A. It's just that what... what what's, Sounds what's, like you're talking a lot of shit if you're asking me. No, nah, man, it's just what <laughs> fulfills me. I've been here for 10 years and I've had a great time and I've, I've you know, it's just... I'm looking for something, and I don't know what that is. But you're you know, in Atlanta now. I moved to Atlanta. So what, what does yeah. Atlanta have that you like that L.A. doesn't? Now, because it's new, I love the fact that, uh, one, I can get lost over there and uh, everything is still new to me and I like it. That's kind of cool. Two, the people are absolutely sweet over there. The food is amazing. Everything Music's dope fried. over Music there. Big dope. part of music. Um, And it's just, I don't know. People, I feel the like. The weather they're, sucks they're, thick though, bro. No, it's the humid. The weather's great. Humid, bro. I'll take me some humid shit. It's cool. No, I mean, it gets cold too. It gets cold like Chicago. That's what I'm saying, dude. You know, but I'm, I'd, I'd, I'd rather have seasons. Yeah. I guess it humbles or you. I'd, I'd it's good for you. Or I'd rather live in Miami too, but, um, Miami but yeah, man, I, 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 um, I didn't just up and move to Atlanta just because, you know, step up. Kind films. of. No, well, step up. Films see, how, in see how, that's how I know you're bullshit. That's how somebody knows you're bullshitting when your voice goes up. No, <laughs> you go up like ten octaves. What are you talking about, man? No. What are, what are you? What are you? No. What are you doing? <laughs> and guys, um, I'm all dressed in green and. Yeah, look like a most people are listening, but those of you watching, I had an audition, so you just excuse it. Like, why is his shirt tucked in, and why is he dressed like he's a? It looks good. It looks like you look like a soldier, dude. Yeah, Joe. Um, how did that go? It went great, man. It yeah. went great. But back to Atlanta, we'll get to yeah, that. Yeah. Um, yeah, my TV show films in Atlanta, and I have been filming there for two years. Step up, um, high water, and on I YouTube. ended up, you know, I was catch it on the second let me, year. Let me plug you, bitch. Oh, I got you. Step up, high water, on YouTube, red or is it red? YouTube premiere. Premiere. They changed the name. My bad. I yep, didn't get yep. the memo. It's all good. Somebody should have told me. <laughs> um, uh, Step Up Films in... Uh, oh, yeah. Step Up Films in Atlanta. The first season, um, you know, we we had we had uh, apartments that we were staying at. Filmed for four months and left back to L.A. But yeah, I fell in love back. with Atlanta then. Yeah. I, I fell in love with it. Um, How seasons go, you never really know if you're going to get a season two. So it was always up in the air. When we finally got picked up for a season two, I went back to the same building that I was at. Um, I had an, a great experience, and I feel like I actually got to see Atlanta more than first season. First season, I was just Ubering everywhere. I didn't know where to go. I was going yeah. to set back and forth, and I was just happy to have a job. It was the, it was the first season of a show, too. Like, yeah. It's kind of everything. There's a lot of shit going on. Yeah, there's on. a lot you're, of stuff going on. You're trying to figure out who you are as a character, how yeah. to build that. So long I would, days, my, my last long focus days. was to go on tours. You and know, you were like rehearsing, go, too, probably dancing Hell shit. yeah, man. Shit. Long well, days. Everyone else has to rehearse once. I got to rehearse 8,000 times to yeah. make sure it's good. Well, um, but anyway, so yeah. That goes with everything, man. After second season happened um we wrapped i went back to la i kept my apartment in atlanta and um I, you know i went back to la and i was just like you know i'm i'm gonna I'm just try something i was very impulsive and i'm like you I'm are gonna, impulsive i'm very i'm very but you know what it's impulsive. crazy because i trip out on this shit sometimes 
the, the moment like you turn your back on shit, we were talking about this. Yeah. Cause like, you know, you were like, well, nothing's happening shit. You know, I'm filming my show, but yeah. it films out there anyway. Nobody's yeah. auditioning me here. So you're like, fuck it. I'm yep. out. Yep. And you yep, kind of picked up your shit one day. Yep. Shakira and I were giving you shit about it. Yep. Where she's like, she's like, you're so fucking stupid. Take a vacation. And it was like, somebody told you the first, like, you'd never heard that word vacation. Vacation. You know what I mean? Like, she's like, take a vacation. You're like, oh yeah, I don't take those. <laughs> yeah. She's like, yeah. Take a vacation, dude. Yeah, um, but, but but I was like, it's too late. I moved. Yeah, yeah. So you moved. Yeah. So now that you're out there, it's kind of a trip because it's like now you haven't left town. You came in town to yeah. film a movie, I, I, and I then to film, and uh, and you I, came, and and now you can't leave because there's another audition. You have another one tomorrow, right? Yeah, I got and another just, one tomorrow. We had an audition today. I got another one. On, no, actually, on Wednesday. And but it's just like the second you the, you're like, you know what? I'm out. It's like the city starts calling back. Get off your phone. This guy's a dick. This guy's his worst trait is that he's addicted to his technology. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Technology's got him by the dick. No, no, uh, Denzel yeah. uh, text me. Shout out to Denzel. D, what's up, D? D, D. He's, he's been here on Curious Radio. He needs to come back. Uh, he's been killing it, too. He's been all over, dude. Yeah, Just, man, he's filming The Purge right now. Mm. You know, so he's going to... He's, he's yeah, it's an anthology, working. right? He's doing the show, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because uh, Gabriel did the other one. Yeah, he did first then, season. And then uh, that's tight. Denzel's doing it. Fuck, oh, yeah, man. bro. He's been killing it, though. He's been doing a bunch of shit. Bro, he's... Black D's, Panther was a fucking crazy D's, thing, too. He's phenomenal. Doing. Black Panther... Shit, um, great debaters. Um, yeah, he's done a gang of shit. He's done a gang of shit, and he's an awesome director and yeah. photographer. A, a hey, we hyping writer, you up, like, bro. Man, he's, well, I'm going to charge of, you for this shit, Denzel. One of the dopest dudes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's cool. Uh, but so, so you move out there, I guess. So what is it? It's just like the, the excitement of it that, that Atlanta provides that LA doesn't? I don't know, man. There's like a certain like. Here. But there is a common thing here that like a lot of people feel that way here in LA. You know what I mean? Like there's this front where people are like, you know, I'm fucking. Yeah. You know, I love LA. Like, <laughs> fucking smoothies and this and that. But everybody's depressed as fuck. You know, they're just flexing on the gram, pretending that they're super happy, but they feel really lonely or whatever the fuck it may be. It's yeah. common in the city. Yeah. So and many I, people, but so many people are disconnected at the same time. Very much so. And I mean, I, it is beautiful weather and it's cool to like, you know, walk outside and see the mountains and appreciate that and stuff. What the fuck but is I, everyone so sad about? Is my I, question. I, I guess. I don't know, man. <laughs> I mean, everyone's kind of going through their own thing, you yeah. know? Um, so for June me, gloom. for me, I was just like, yo, I'm a, I'm going to figure out where my head needs to be at and I'm going to be impulsive and I'm going to just leave and up and yeah. leave. And you know what? Season three is going to be coming soon. So I might as well just, oh, and I'm yeah. working on my third album. So yeah, I yeah. brought so my studio over done. there. Yeah. It's almost done. I, I got my own little studio set up and uh, we're almost done with album number three. I figured that would give me ample enough time, a couple of months, a head start to finish this album. And then we do season three. After I'm done with season three of Step Up, I'll figure out where my head's at. You yeah. know, and I'll see if I want to go back. I'll see if I want to go back to L.A. Because, yeah. you know, after just booking a film, what, three and a half weeks it's been ago. been good to you. I'm telling I, you. I, I can't leave because I've been getting auditions all the time. And, like, um, today <laughs> You've was been a, here for like a, month and a, half. a big audition for me, guys. So, I'll, you know, we'll see. It went well. When this, yeah. When this video comes out, we'll see if yeah. I booked it or not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I mean, who knows? But at the it's end of the day, it still ended up being a positive experience and shit. Like, Amen. Oh. Amen, bro. Yeah. So on to the next one, on to the next one. That's the life of an actor over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So besides the work, besides, of course, that's why I loved being here. And that's the, honestly the reason why I stayed so long in L.A. was yeah. to continue acting. Because I'm like, as an actor, I have to be here for my audition. Yeah, but you've been working. So but you wanted to focus on your album just to get out there? I wanted to focus on my album, bro, because I feel like I was veering away from it. Yeah. And mind you, I'm, I'm still trying to be the best actor and grow as much as I can. But at the same time, I'm a musician. I'm an artist. I'm a songwriter. And that's what I do. Yeah. And I can't forget that. And I can't stop doing that. That's why I admire Justin Timberlake so much because he can be performing at the Grammys get nominated for this one and also won the like, Oscars you know and then be, he's a phenomenal actor as well and that's what I'm aspiring to be man but at the same time I can't abandon my music and my fans they're waiting on album number three bro yeah. but it's like oh Carlito released some music but I'm on set filming over here yeah. and I'm trying to continue to, to grow yeah. as an actor it takes time man just, to like you know, so you know it I'm, takes to fucking write an album and put that shit out yeah, it's man. so people don't realize it's like, feelings it's emotions but it's also you know? yeah it's a roller coaster it's also um you know, so many long nights, dude. It's so crazy to those nights. If you think about it, like, it's also like, you know, what the fuck else are you going to do? Yeah. Or what else would you, would you be ha- rather be doing or be happy? Yeah, I'd doing, rather you know? do that, man. You know, I remember growing up praying, you know, praying to God. Um, Please let me be the next Justin Timberlake. No, no you, don't, you don't pray those things to God. <laughs> Por favor, Jesucristo. I, no, I just said. Ayúdame. You ain't not. You ain't shit. <laughs> uh, I just said, no, you know, uh, God put me where, where I need to be. 
you know, and I don't mind. L- Shut up, Rick. <laughs> you <laughs> suck. You. All right, friend. You know what? I'm so glad we're here to experience this shit. This mother effer never lets me finish talking, even on his own podcast. I want you tell to him know, how you feel. And everyone that knows Rick, I want you to comment right here in the comments if you know that Rick never lets you finish a sentence. There we go. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna have over shots 5, fired. Comments. Fucking no. <laughs> I'm just playing. I love you. We're gonna put, we're gonna use that clip. <laughs> we're gonna see. <laughs> what do you said? agree? <laughs> thumbs up. Thumbs down. You know what we should do? Like what? in the uh, in the in the IG promo. Yeah. You should have all the times that I was trying to answer a question. And I'm like, no. Nope. Stop uh, me. Uh, and then you uh, put. Uh, 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 and then that's the last one. Well, shut the fuck up, Rick. And then boom. That's gonna uh, fucking go viral. It's because starting to get in some rants. He'd be like. <laughs> Primeramente, creo que I think God is great. Well, I just want to say thank you to my mom. Yeah, mom. No, uh, but basically what I said was, you know, I don't put me where you put me where you want me and where you think I need to be. Um, I don't mind living paycheck to paycheck. I, th- I just, know? but I just think you, you fuck, you yeah. underestimate your per- yourself. You know what I mean? You, yeah. you don't give yourself enough credit. Thanks, well, I mean, man. it's it's all of us. It's and all I, of, yeah. I, I, you know, I it's agree. easier for I, us to see it in each other. You know, the little circle we have. Yeah, of course. Uh, you know, a few of us that we're just kind of like we got to put each other on and shit because you know. It's, you know, doing this line of work sometimes, you know, we look at it in, from in, from inside of it. So you're only looking for the flaws. Yeah. People from the outside are looking from it way differently than you're looking at it, you know? Yep, yep. And it's like, oh, dude, you got this. It's all good. Thanks, man. Yeah. yeah, and you know what? I think that's just, you know, that's just the self-doubt in all of us. Mind you, I know there's a lot Very of people real. that have it figured out with themselves. And they're mm, like, no, I'm super I don't super think anyone does. Zen. I, well, I, I absolutely. I don't think anyone does. There's some. But, but... People make it seem like they do. Of course, they're like, no, that's bro, not, I don't do no negativity. Well, that's what I'm saying. I don't, no, no, I'm complete. Nothing bothers me. It's like, no, nah, bro. That's the unreal just, expectation. Like, I think that everybody, and that's what I mean. I think that's why a lot of times people feel so like, oh my god, I should be happier because we're watching yeah. highlight reels all day. You know what I mean? On the gram and shit, or on Facebook yeah. or whatever. It's a highlight reel. We're watching yeah. highlight reels. Like, oh my god, these people are having salt and straw. Yeah, and they look happy as fuck. They look happy. That as butterscotch shit. ice cream. Yeah, he, yeah. Butterscotch it's ice like, cream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm at I like, work. I like how you say that. A high, high, highlight reel because yeah. it's not like you're seeing their whole day. No, they're putting what they, you, they want you it's to controlled. see. The highlight of their day. That's the reason why people post on yeah, their man. stories or pictures at Coachella or here or at a birthday party of, yo, we're celebrating here. This is the highlight of their day. Oh, Different dude. highlights, of course. They post it all up. But in reality, yeah, you don't see another person's life. But you know, There was a herpes outbreak at Coachella. And, you know, you don't see that on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. You see people dancing. There wasn't really a herpes, out, herpes outbreak. No, I know. Some shit. There was a lot. There was like over 10,000 10, people or something that got disgusting. Hurt. Yeah, bro. Hey, you, you guys. Nah. Use protection. Apparently, the kids don't use protection, man. What Everyone the fuck's should. wrong with you? Everyone should. If At we Coachella? Were, if, if we were you're in, in a, a desert with a bunch of dirty ass people. Yeah, but you're not like. I bet some of them were fucking there on the floor and shit, but no. Like, I mean, they I don't go know. home with It's each the other. house parties. Yeah, there's a bunch yeah. of parties and stuff yeah, going on. Parties. All around the neighborhood, and probably people that came over that didn't even go to Coachella, but they were no. just there for the parties. Yeah, exactly. You know? That's most people. And at the same time, there's all these people flying from all over the world with it, coming here, and people who already had it here, but then giving it away to everyone, and they uh, all went back to their country. Why are you scaring me, bro? Man, it's soon. It's an outbreak. Man, so we need to just everyone stay safe. But yeah. you know what? It's, it's, it's common, but you know everyone stay safe. Everyone should protect themselves no matter what. Yeah. And of course, don't shame anybody that has it. Cause, no, know, I'm gonna shame you. Stuff. I'm, um, but... I'm not gonna shame you, <laughs> <laughs> dude. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I, I think a lot of it. A lot of it has to do, um, of, of I think just keep, keeping yourself uncomfortable. I think that's what I was telling you. That like when you're moving, yeah. that shit is uncomfortable and it stresses you the fuck out. But it also makes you like question all the other shit you're doing in your life. Yeah. Because you know it's a change, and that's when like shit starts to pop off for you when you almost like confront challenges rather than uh you know look away from them you know what yeah. i mean you're like you know what i'm nothing's happening here so let me look for a new challenge i'm move to a new city and see yeah. what the fuck i can how i can make it happen from there or if that's going to change anything yeah i don't know yeah man uh, i agree so that audition how did it went how did it go it went well it went great dude it went great uh rick was actually helping me with the audition 
yeah. uh, ladies and gents. That's kind of how everybody how it goes with all of us. Yeah, we all man. have to like help each other out. And we shit. all have self tapes to do, you know. Yeah. And, uh, new, and it's and a new it's, era. And it's a new era, bro. And it's yeah. good to have friends that act. You know, it's good yeah. to have friends that do the same thing that you do. Yeah. Mind you, I think everyone does in their own profession, but yeah. in our sense, you know, our paycheck a community. Is, it's a little, it's a little like a community. Yeah, it's yeah. a little community, and our paycheck isn't guaranteed. So the fact mm-hmm. that we we're doing a lot of this I mean, kind of because we're fucking killers, but well, yeah, yeah exactly. Ah, but you know the process that it takes. You know, it's a beautiful thing, and like we don't second guess it when a friend says, "Hey, bro, do you have time for a self tape?" Because yeah, we yeah. know how serious that is. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's like, "Oh fuck." Or it's just you also know. like we've been in the shoes where like, "Hey, man, can you help me? I need yeah. a self. I have a yeah, self yeah, tape." Of course, and you're like, of course. Yeah, I got yeah. you. Scratch you know your I mean? back, you scratch mine. Yeah. But don't scratch my back. Don't touch yeah. my back. Don't even get close to my back. Nah, you're I got sweaty, you. Bro. Just ask me for a you're fucking self tape, and I got you. Yeah, this motherfucker sweats so much. You got a lot of toxins in your body, Carlito. There's a lot of. Can you just yeah, I yoga? sweat a lot. I sweat. I sweat. Straight. Um, so you sweat, sweat. You know, it's, it's so weird, dude. Like a lot, a lot of like the the, sh- the audition process is so like psychological and shit. You know what I mean? What was your What was your thought process uh, behind creating this last this, this last album? It's uh, it's pretty much done, right? It's almost done, man. I think we're about ninety percent done. Um, I'm at eleven records right now, mm. but it's uh, I need about like three, four more. You can do like twelve tracks. I want to do like 13, or 15? 13, if I can. 13, 13. 14. Damn. Yeah. Because I mean, the now? first, the first. What's your process of, like? Which which question do you want to hear? Because you asked me like four. Shut up, bitch. In the past. What's your process like? 40 seconds. What's your process like? <laughs> what is it? It Well, my process is like, we go to the studio. No. Uh, well, in certain cases, I'll start making a beat on my own and just kind of like. Like just the rhythm? The, the actual percussion? For, it depends. Yeah, you know what? No, no, no. For, yeah, first I actually start with, I start with, the melody. Ah, uh, okay. And I'm like, you know, I'm I'm that type of dude where I have to sing out everything and every single yeah. melody that I you do. Yeah, you be walking around the crib. And then I start doing that, and then yeah. I, you know, I start to put it together and I produce on machine, and then I give it to my homie who does it on uh, Logic, and he adds his little spice to it. You know, uh, my homie Nova, Nova and Matt. Yeah. Yep, yep. Nova's been on here. Yeah. Um, and yes, super talented dudes. And then usually by that He's time, a monster dude. Yeah, bro, super dope. Um, so yeah, and then we get back in the studio. More than likely. I'm just like, what am I feeling right now? Yeah. Like, what's in my head right now? Mm. Who's in my head right now? Yeah. You know, uh, what's what what shit am I going through? And then, you know, more than likely, it's a it's it's inspiring already to be in a studio. Let alone I have my yeah. own studio now, so I'm yeah. like, I'm in this element where I put it, I designed it myself. I'm happy as fuck. I can yeah. bang the speakers. My neighbors ain't tripping no more. Yeah, yeah. So we pour up, we drink, you know, we smoke, we're chilling. It's like it's a it's a dope feeling. It's a dope atmosphere. Yeah. And then from there, I just feel like I'm in my element. And you created and my it. My pen just starts going. Ooh. And then it's great having Nov and Matt there too because you know they're they're from your hometown. They're from my hometown. They're from Chicago. And at the same time, I'm trying to be as Chicago as I possibly can with my music, but still. At the same time, having people from all the way in London like that shit. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm not I'm not over here chanting Chicago, Chicago, yeah. Chicago. No, everything I do is Chicago. I am Chicago. You know, so um I am it's basically the ending of the trilogy of dreams don't become reality while sleeping. You're Boom. still in that lost fantasy, you're still in that lost world of not knowing where the fuck you are and and also losing the love that you had. Mm. You know, also losing memories and promises um i feel like if this makes any sense i feel like eternal sunshine of the spotless mind End of was a, a very big um uh inspiration for this album yeah we did a music video yeah with that uh, yeah man um, yeah that shit it was better right better yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. better you can you guys can you do that Go shit. check it out um and that shit it was, it was it's just a fun experience man just to be able to like uh but that's on is that on uh that's on three Trying to get comfortable with this chick. Is that, is that is that on is that on three uh, on volume three? No, that's on that's on two, right? No, that's on volume two, man. Yeah, right. So that's what I'm, yeah. Um. So that so that kind of led you into this volume three. Uh, yeah, man. I needed to close the album. You know. Um. It's it's volume one, volume two, volume three, and it'd be yeah. weird of me to kind of do a different premise and a different um, yeah. sound and not keep it at least uh, like a. Well, you're gonna be thirty, tone. right? You're gonna be thirty this year. Yep. Yeah, no, uh, July sixteenth. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I feel yeah. like it's kind of a close, closing of an era. You know what I mean? I feel like that with my twenties. Like I, this is my first. You know, I'm thirty now. Yeah, man. Uh, so it's yep, like yep. I feel it's weird, dude. It's a little bit different. Like the way you like I don't know every stage of your life and shit. Like you know, as as fucking weird as it sounds or cheesy as it sounds, it, you do walk around different when you're thirty. Very like, much so. Right, like, bro, how did we get here? But I've also how like, did we get here? Been some shit already. So you're just like, but damn, like we've been on that long of a walk that we're already thirty, bro. How did we get That's here? That's what I trip out on. 
we're gonna watch this video back and be 37 one day 40 and 40 how did we get here and how did you get there yeah carlito with your old ass stop <laughs> stop stop man i'm giving you some advice right now yeah, and i'm gonna tell future? you to get your shit together man because right now You've been you've been messing up. You've been messing up. I just want to let you know. <laughs> I'm glad you're it's a good thing we look young. We got that Benjamin Button. So I'm hoping yeah, by the time Benjamin that I'm Button. 50, I better be a 12 year old boy or whatever. You got good genes. Your dad looks young. My dad looks super young, but still. Drink water, bro. Man. Moisturize. Where's my water? Bro? Work out. Yep. Eat your veggies. <laughs> I sound like fucking. Uh, mm, I was gonna say no. Never mind. Not that person. Cause he's uh, he's in jail now. Uh, let me think. Who's a, who's a, who's another person that was like? I was gonna say Bill Cosby. He's in jail now. <laughs> yeah, I was like, because they used to do like that's kind of crazy. That's what trip it out. Trip out on that. Yeah. He was like the guy on TV telling people like you know brush your teeth and don't curse and pull your pants up and yeah. this, this and that. He like, was like he was the perfect dad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, and then well, on TV. It's uh, what I'm saying. And then you know. end up find out he's raping everybody. It's and like not mass just serial raping, raping like a serial rapist. Like probably the biggest serial rapist ever. I don't think ever, but he's definitely up Maybe, there. Maybe, bro. He's in Hollywood, bro. No, nah, I think the biggest Think cereal. about the parties back in the day. Crazy. I don't know, man. He's just slipping people's shit in people's drinks. That was like yeah. a that was like a cultural thing at some point. That's crazy. People call it slipping though. slipping people slipping a Mickey or some shit like that. Slipping yeah. a Mickey. Yeah. Like, oh, I love Mickey Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> well, she dude, that's said terrible. she wanted a fucking Oh my god, dude. Yeah, yeah. That's so dark. That, that's hilarious. I'm not that's 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 you ever watch like serial murderer shows or anything like that? Did you ever watch The Jinx on HBO? The Jinx, no. Oh, oh yeah, with the, the guy, yeah, the millionaire, the the killed right, three go, people. So going back to the rape stuff, that's horrible. That's despicable. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I'm just saying all these people that are like, I, I I sometimes you watch this shit and you, I trip out on like what people are capable of and like what the what the fuck is going on in their head where they're doing some crazy shit like you know, yeah, like man. they're doing like to, to what the honestly, fuck? your brain's think... broken. Like what the fuck's going on? Yeah. Why but, are you like what? What is? What's the, what's what's? I don't what's get wrong it. Cause with my brain wiring. works. You know. Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I do crazy shit, but that's just that's not crazy to me. That's I, you're insane. You're yeah. Out of your mind. No. Yeah. I could Murdering never do people, that. doing something crazy. You know what I mean? Like, damn, there's extremes of like those. That's what I'm saying. Those 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 shows are fascinating. The, of like serial killers or whatever. Like, cause you look at I'm like, what the fuck? This dude walks around like he's a normal dude. Right, and maybe he's just some guy you see at the coffee shop every day, mm -hmm. and he's you know fucking murdering people. Yeah, crazy. That's horrible. Yeah, bro. I could yeah. be anywhere. Fucking horrible. Carry some mace with you. Possibly a knife. Don't ever walk down alleys by yourself. Yeah. Look at you. You got a pretty face, dude. You <laughs> can't afford this shit. Thank you, man. <laughs> can't walk down an alley. You'll be, you'll be, you'll be fucked. But I gotta up. throw the garbage away. Yeah, <laughs> no, bro. <laughs> don't go down that alley. Bro. Just leave it right there in the corner. <laughs> Just, right there. Just don't. We were talking about that. We hate. <clears throat> if you have a dog and you don't pick up their shit, you're a terrible person. Oh Says yeah, a lot you, about your you're character. a terrible person. Says a lot about your character. Yeah, I want to put this out there, guys. This is a public um, service announcement. This is a public service announcement. If you have a dog, and you don't pick up your dog's shit. On the sidewalk or in the grass, you are a bad person. Yeah. I don't care. But you can fix it. You can fix it by getting a trash bag or a little small. Just change it up. Bag, pick it up. That's all we're all saying. Right? Change it up. Um, only thing that I'm, it's just it's nasty, bro. Yeah, but it sucks. I look. stepped in some shit the other day. I got a dog. My dog takes the biggest horse shits yeah, ever. He's a big. Dog. I make it my responsibility to pick up my dog shit. I don't, I don't want nobody to step. What? I don't want to pick it up. But I, I do oh, yeah. it. Oh yeah. Well, I don't want to pick it up, but I do it. That's my. That's my. That's my baby. That's, that's, that's a responsibility. My son. Um, as a dog owner. So yeah, I, I pick it up and I clean it up. But man, everyone else, their excuse will be, <laughs> my dog is small or whatever. Or um, no, you know, I do. Oh, fuck that. Pick up your dog shit. Because yeah, I stepped in some shit the other day. And I'm pretty pissed off. And I had to go clean my shoe in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. While smelling like shit. And it's horrible. Especially when All you right, wear cool shoes. Pick you up know? your dog shit. I don't care how small it is. Because I'm going to go over there. If I find out that it's your dog, I'm, I'm going to go and take mm -hmm. a shit right in front of your door on your doormat. That's aggressive. And I'll make sure that it's the same size as your dog. That's aggressive. But that way you get the point. I don't need to pick it up because it's a small piece of shit. That's how angry I that's was. That's very aggressive. Pick up your dog shit. All right? Yeah, that's We're going to do a hashtag. What if pick up your dog shit. What if it's a lot of people? You're going to have to take a lot of shit at a lot of different doors. I'm going to take, whoa, hey, bro. That's I, a big commitment. I have a sensitive stomach. I can make this shit work. <laughs> We'll, you give, you, I'm we'll give you whole milk and cheese. <laughs> I'm Just lactose, nothing but whole bro. milk and cheese. We can make this work. Pick Ew. up your dog shit. That's yeah, it. Drop that's it. Mic. Public service <laughs> announcement. <laughs> 
Dude, it is. It, but it does say a lot about you, man. Um, yeah, it can be lazy. And, and, and even if it's like, yeah, this small, think about other people that are going to step on the shit. Mm. And they'll be like, no, it goes back into the ground. You know, and it becomes, it becomes oh, the soil. Oh, fuck get you, biodegradable. Fuck, get out of here. Not nah. right away. Nah. You know? I take like, thousands of years. That's part of the reason why I moved from my apartment. It's a know? shitty excuse. It was shitty everywhere, bro. There was shit everywhere. You had everywhere. Shitty neighbors. Shitty neighbors. Yeah, man. Shitty heads. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. I, you know what I trip out on, dude? I think this generation is more than any other <laughs> with like have millennials have fucking dogs. Yeah. The generation before us didn't really have dogs. They took them around with them everywhere yeah. and shit. Like there was a dog he was in the in backyard. The yeah, he was in the backyard chilling. You know? He never went with you were nowhere. In Mexico, they don't give a damn about no, dogs. No, they're shooting They come over guns. here, they're like, why is your dog in the house? Yeah. <laughs> what? Like, what the fuck? That's my homie, dog. Like It's 30 degrees outside. Dog. Why is he in the house? Yeah. So, <laughs> Look at this dog. I have the dog right here. This dog is an indoor dog. Nala. She's asleep. Yeah, she's dead, like hanging she's off. Yeah. I wish we could see her right now. <laughs> yeah. That's a good life, dude. I'd like to be somebody's dog, like a rich person's dog. Yeah, you know? as long as they're a good owner, because then you'd be that one mug. You got your wish, and then you get mm. beat the fuck up yeah. like, by a fucking crazy, yeah. and you're getting fought to death. That's like, the Bad you know? Samaritan's about, right? Kind of that dude's like a bad person. He's like a rich dude. Yeah, but it has nothing to do with dogs and beating I'm dogs saying, up. You could do it with people. I'm team people, bitch. <laughs> you know? He didn't watch Bad Samaritan, didn't guys. Watch it. He did it. So that's the reason why. It's about, like, yeah, it's, it's about bad people. Bad Samaritan I'm trying to plug is you, about dog. dogs and, the best and fighting way that I can. And fighting dogs, right? <laughs> What's it's, it like, about? it's like it's like give me the storyline. Oh my god, it's about two valet parkers, two valet workers movie who did. work at uh, at a restaurant. And while you guys come to park your car and you think that you're gonna you know you're gonna go have some dinner, we actually take your car, hit home on the GPS screen, and go to your house and rob you blind before you've even hit dessert. Um, mm. Once we get back, you know we return your car. But on one of these heists, um, we end up robbing a house that has somebody kidnapped in it, and mm. we can't call the cops and so be like, "Yo, we were in the middle of a robbery. Don't arrest us. Please go help this person. They need your help." So we decide to take matters into our own hands, and the idea. psychopath, murderer, sadistic, crazy guy, played by David David Tennant, um, you know, comes comes after us, and it's it's like a cat and mouse game of survival, and it's pretty dope. It's a, it's a thriller. You and Robert um, Sheehan, go check it out. Robert Sheehan, you know, he's killing it right Everybody. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's on the Umbrella Academy. We're both talking about it. It's a fun, yep. it's a fun show. Yeah, he's awesome, bro. There's a lot of crazy shit out. There's so much content now. That's why I'm like, damn, what a crazy time to be a creative. You know what I mean? You can create your own shit. Also, like this shit's accessible. Like all this shit, you know, just buying all this shit. Content. You couldn't content. do this shit a long time ago. Nonsense. You know what I mean? It was so expensive to like yeah. have your own studio and all this shit. You know, we're yeah. a different era. Yeah, There's man. There's no excuse for. There's no excuse, bro. You know? I mean, yeah, look at. You gotta just put shit out, and eventually, you know, some some of your shit's gonna suck sometimes. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's how you get better. Yeah, man. You know, sometimes you don't have to put it out. Exactly. Just do it. Exactly, you bro. Know, you do by doing. Um, I agree. So what's up? When are you when are you going back to Atlanta? Are you chilling or what? Shit, man. Well, now I got this audition I got to study for, and that's on Wednesday. So more than likely, oh. it'll probably be after Wednesday. Yeah, and then another one's going to come, and yeah. another one's going to come. It's because yeah. you got a new manager. That's why. Yeah, bro. Yeah, they're fucking And awesome. that's exactly when you signed, you signed with them, right? When you moved. Although, you, this past trip, we were at Mama Shelter. Shout out to Mama Shelter. That spot yeah, is nice. No, bro. I Don't just, burn out the spot. Don't I just spot. signed with this management like two weeks ago, and they're already on it. They're yeah, already dude. like, boom, here's yeah. your first audition. Boom, director, producer session. Yeah, boom, yeah. here's this. And, and today, guys, yeah, it was a big, big day for me. Yeah. You know, so I, I hope I get it. I really hope I get it. But if not, yeah. you know what? Hey, we got more auditions. And yeah. I think as an actor, we all we want them all. Yeah. <laughs> of course, of course. You know? I don't know. What's your plan? So, so then you're gonna go back to Atlanta and then finish this album out. Yeah, you man, I gotta finish it? this album and and uh, get it out. You know, and it'll probably come out after Step Up, but I need to finish it before I start doing Step Up. You know, because then I gotta master it, and you know, I gotta do all the, all these music videos for it. I gotta st yeah. strategically plan it out. I was gonna drop it on my birthday on July, but I'm like, you know what? I'm trying to do some damage. This is the last album um, of at least the trilogy. You know, so I just want it to be perfect, man. What's what's what are some of the feelings that you feel like going in, up to like leading up to a release? Are you anxious? Are you like yeah, anxious, nervous? Um, are they gonna like it? Yeah. You know, do do will they understand it? Mm -hmm. Um, I don't care about numbers really. I've never been that dude to just be like, oh man, I only got like. We still look at them. You know, we yeah. I, I mean, I look at them just because I have to. Yeah. You know, it's not like. They don't exist. It's not like they don't exist, but yeah. I have to no matter what. If I yeah. want to go watch my video, the numbers are there. Yeah. So like, I'm gonna I look at the there. bottom left. No, you can't help it. <laughs> yeah. You can't. You yeah. can't be like, click, not look right there. Is yeah. there? It's just yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. no, but I don't care about the numbers. It's it's about the quality of content because I know all it takes is that one song or that yeah. one movie or that one video or that one appearance or that one show 
to take me there, to just mm-hmm. blow up, to just mm-hmm. do it. And then when that happens, they're going to come back and they're going to see a catalog of music that yeah. this dude is going to have three and a half. Maybe who knows when they find me. He's going you know, to have more than three albums out. Yeah, yeah. You know, a lot of artists, you know, yeah, yeah man. Yeah, I, I, all I wrote all of them and yeah, all self-funded. Yeah. I'm strictly independent. I've been doing everything on my own while still at the same time trying to live my dreams and as an entertainer and, and, and an actor and a dancer yeah. and, you know, just doing my own thing, man. So, uh, I want to do it the right way, and um, but it is—it's kind of crazy. It's how I'm just saying, like how much emotional shit you, you know, go, how many emotions go into it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Putting shit out because you—you're out there just trying to create some dope shit for people to vibe with, and then, and at the same time, it's like you're putting yourself out there a lot. You know what yeah. I mean? Because it's like, you know, people—people yeah, people are fucking dicks too. Yep. <laughs> you know. I agree, bro. So I agree. Do, what do you? What do you? Do you get like anything creatively out of it? Like when it goes well, say, or. Mm. Or, or or is is your release or is what the fuck you know like what's your, you know I mean I I like the fact that people can actually take a a peek into my brain and my emotions and what I'm feeling. It's so much more than just a song. It's so much more than just a beat that you can rock to or your favorite song for two months. You know people move on with music. <clears throat> yeah. They really do. They'll absolutely love this song. Like Drake has a huge song right now. He always yeah. does. But it's got a huge song. Talk about somebody who's just consistently killed it. Mm-hmm. Drake, mm-hmm. dude, consistently. Mm-hmm. I don't All know. The time. All the time, bro. Um, How many fucking jams has he had? Crazy. I don't even know. Too many. You know. But that's the point. Put out a catalog of music, bro. Like yeah. a catalog of music. So that way, the one song that Dude, does pop Shout out off, to Degrassi, bro. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> yeah, man. That's what, that's what I'm saying. We trip out on that, though. He was on a TV show. He was an actor. You know what I mean? It was a Canadian TV show. Yeah. Yep. He played a basketball player. He got shot. He was paralyzed. And I guess he never wanted to get back to acting again. I mean, I just, he probably just, I think he was young when he got into it or something, huh? Yeah. Aubrey yeah. Graham. But it's crazy. You would have, you would have thought. I don't know now when he There's a lot of rappers in the break. game. Yeah, like T.I. Yeah. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And they're uh, good. Yeah, real good. 50 Cent. 50 Cent's fucking great, actually. Yeah, I haven't watched too many things with him. I, I just saw Get Rich, Die Trying, and probably this other one. Oh, uh, dude, that was, he was yeah. actually fucking great. I love that movie. Yeah. Get Rich, Die Trying. Yeah. Eight Mile was the best. Eight though. Mile was dope, too. Yeah. As far as like a, a hip hop movie, and then you know, straight out of Compton. That's that's what I look at. That's what I trip out on. Like, you know, mm-hmm. you start to, you start to pay attention, like, of how many people that you that influenced you throughout your life, like, actually do the shit that you're now currently trying to do. Right? Mm-hmm. It's like, oh shit, you know, this guy did a fucking movie about his life. How much effort? You know, you now you know how much effort it takes to put a movie forward. Yep. You know what I mean? Like, you're like, oh shit, these motherfuckers. Yep. That's craziness. You know. And I got a lot of money and a lot and of they got funding music to do it videos. right. To do it right, you, you know? know, and and do it right, do it right, do it tight. Sir. You know, uh, you gonna go karaoke tonight? Yeah, man, tonight. This motherfucker is obsessed with karaoke. I love karaoke. It is pretty fun though. We've it been is. going. When it's a good little, you know, a, a, like it's so much fun. We went better, to a spot the other night than, and it was closed as fuck. Dumbass. Yeah, it's better than good night. <laughs> I know it's better than good night though. No, yeah, of course it is because yeah. just there's a lot of people and the vibes and shit. Is that the same spot we've been going to? Huh? Is the same spot we've been going to. Or, yeah or no, yeah it's Mondays no yeah. Today's Monday so yeah, my yeah, bad I had a Monday had yeah, a like, brain fart. Bro, I was like stuck. you know sometimes I gotta like snap Carlito out of it. He just <laughs> he's got like he, he, he shit just stalls out. His computer goes. Yep yep it like, just has the reboot Ooh. and then I'll That's just not be a good like word. R word. Yeah I can't say R word anymore. Mm-hmm. Um, reboot. No, no 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 yeah sure you had a reboot. Shit just goes out. What, what no, did no, I no. say? No, no, no. R word, re- retarded. You can't say that. It's, oh, oh, it's you inappropriate ain't appropriate. <laughs> That's what it is, bro. Dude, just fuck you. I'm serious. <laughs> it's uh, you can't say it anymore, man. It's yeah. It's it's uh. That's kind of weird, dude. We're in a weird culture too, where people are tripping out on words because you know how we grew up. Yep. The way we spoke to each other as mm-hmm. kids, we were ve- we still are. You and I actually somebody brought we it up the other night. Vulgar and disobedient. We're still <laughs> like that. We were. Yeah, like we the, are. We the other night. Like a sailor. We were, the other night we were. Uh, I don't even know where the fuck we're at. We're in some elevator. Look at this guy. He's he's such a rude ass bitch on his stupid ass phone. No, on no, his no, wrist. no. This is from uh, it's a Carlito. You did amazing. No decisions made. Stay tuned. Ooh. We're getting live updates here at Curious Radio. Yep. Um, yeah, but that's, that's what I trip out on, dude. When I tell people that we're gonna become hybrids. <coughs> They're like, no, I don't think we're going to become hybrids with computers. I'm like, it's already attached to us. Mm-hmm. If you got a phone yeah, or if you got an a iWatch, like, you know, yeah. how long, this is right now. What's gonna, How long before it goes into the body? Just never in mind. Never. You don't think so? No. 
Well, so, this, so have you have you heard of uh, have you heard of uh, the the singularity by uh, uh, Ra, uh, Kurzweil, Ray Kurzweil? I don't think so, man. He he has a book and it's a documentary. Um, anyway, he he talks about that by the year he's predicted about a lot of technological leaps, and and he owns like forty patents. This mm-hmm. dude's like he's a smart dude. He owns a pharmaceutical company, um, or a vitamin company. Anyway, he pre- says that by the year I think he said twenty forty they're gonna be have blood cell sized. Uh, or like the size of the blood cell, or they can be computer chips, and they can mm. inject them into you, right? Yeah, they can kiss my ass. Hold on, bro. You you're so jumping the gun, bro. You want to <laughs> die or what? <laughs> I'm trying to save your life. He's like, so essentially, what they're gonna do is these things. Um, can, you can upload your vitals onto a computer, and I can see how your heart rate is pumping. I can see how your blood. Yeah. And these things can go in there and fix shit for you, so you can become a superhuman. That's cool. And then he said, eventually. You're going to sync your consciousness to the internet. So you should be able to Google shit and be like, hey, fucking Siri in the brain. Uh, what is, you know, you don't, have, you don't have to Google it. You just Yeah, yeah it's not going to be our time. It's not gonna you don't be, think so? No, absolutely not, Rick. Why not? Explain to me why not. Explain <laughs> to me why. we're human and what you're talking about is turning us into cyborgs, basically. Yeah, bro. That, that it's coming. <clears throat> it's not coming, bro. People are already trying to integrate with machines, dude. They have limbs. They have all kinds of stuff, dude. Yeah, yeah, but that's to like Have you seen the robots? And and stuff like I'm that. just saying. Unless, unless you find a real robot that they put a human heart in and give... No, no. I'm not saying... I'm not saying an all human... I think we'll get there, dude. I don't... I, because the technology... Dude, the, the technology leaps are coming in fast. You don't even realize. We're using computers to make better computers. No, they can keep that. I'm cool. Why are you scared, dude? Are you scared of the future, man? Robots are coming, dude. They're going to drive us. <sighs> have you seen that movie Eagle Eye with Shia LaBeouf? Mm, yeah, I have. It's a good movie. Yeah, where that computer controls everything. It controls all the traffic lights. That's already it's, where it's we're Siri. at. We're already there. Mm-hmm. You don't think we're listening to your phones and stuff? Mm-hmm. Um... I don't know. I'm down. What's up, man? Let's become a robot. <laughs> I'm down to become a robot. I want to be uh, perfect. You, you want? I'm just, you know, I'm. I just want to be living like a goddamn. I don't know what. I think that's coming, dude. I don't know. I don't know why you. Why you're so? so Carlito doesn't read books. That's why. That's the problem. I read we, books. We get you an asshole. I read this. so many books. No, I got a doesn't. whole. Look at how many books you got. You got. I give like them away. Twelve books. I got. I give, no, that's more. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. You got twelve, yeah, and those are those are CD packets. Those are DVDs. No, those are those are like those are thin ass child books. Those, those are, are just these. And, sniff books. and I give a bunch away. I give a bunch of books away because I'll be like, "This will serve you." Stupid. Who no, gives books away. A lot of them are just self help books and shit. I'm trying to figure this Stop shit out. Stop hanging around people that don't know nothing about their life. They don't need a self help <laughs> book. You be like, "Yo, what's your weird ass here? Take this self help book." I be giving homeless people pep talks. Mm-hmm. I be sometimes like I'll go out, say if I if I go out drinking, right? Like you know the rare times that I do because the hangovers kill me. Um, yeah. speaking of which, we had one of those the other night, and it was painful. But um, uh, I'll meet like a homeless person, and I'm I'm just known to like go off on a rant on a homeless person and try to inspire them and shit to do better. <laughs> and I'll give them money and shit. People were like, "Hey, man, stop it!" You yeah. know, you're just enabling them, and they immediately go and buy a beer or a crack rock and smoke it. So yeah, then well yeah, <laughs> um, well today I was like walking to get. Cause I'm stuffed up and I'm sick. I had like this little nose thing. This dude always gets stuffed up. Yeah, no. Stuffed, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there was this homeless man on, Hall- on Sunset Boulevard. Yeah. Like passed out, literally passed out on the floor. That's what's crazy. People don't. Sun nobody Instagrams that. Yeah. Uh, People are just sun is, in the like street. his blade is super fucking hot. It's sweating and he's just getting burnt there. And then pulled out. I had like what eleven bucks in my pocket and I grabbed his hand and I put it in his hand. Um, and I, you know. And he, he woke up, but he didn't barely, he didn't see me, he didn't see who it was. So he yeah, he's barely gym, conscious. So I, went in, I went into CVS to get a water, I come out, and there's a shoe out with a dollar. And my guess is, he was so fucking strung out, he let go of the money. And the $10 went flying, and someone brought back the $1 and put a shoe on top of it, so it didn't fly off. And I gave him a water. And he didn't wake up. And I was like, bro. And then I hit, I wake up. Wake up, dog. Wake up. He's, he's just strung out. Wake uh, up. And I'm like, here's, man, here's the water. I'm like, where's the money I gave you, bro? I literally told him yeah. this. I'm like, where's the money I gave you? That's $1. You and obviously he just, can't trust him, He dude. couldn't, and, but you know. And then, but look at that. That's, 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 that's got to be a form of mental illness, no? No, no, no. It's because whether, like, what, whatever he does with the money is his, is his no, option. I'm just but saying, the thing is, it's like, dude, I gave it to you. Wake up. Put it in your pocket. And you just, I'm saying he's that drunk. That could have been food for you or, or whatever. Or high you know, or something, I'm saying. You know, and, I don't think he realizes. Well, the point is someone took it from him. Someone stole it from him. Maybe. Yeah, he definitely did, and they're fuck faces for that. 
but yeah, I yeah. don't, I don't know. I think it, I, I, I think sometimes these people also are like are fucking hammered drunk in the middle of the day and they're passed out on the sidewalk. Yeah, you know but, what I mean. But still, someone took the ten, the ten dollars and gave him back a dollar. It was eleven dollars. Mm. You know, so that's the mm. point. Whether he was strung out, he wasn't going anywhere. He was right there. In thir- I came back in th- three minutes. Dude, that's crazy. There's more and more yeah. like homeless people coming out too. Like, yeah. you've seen that shit. We went out. We went out with uh, with Gabby and them on the "I Love You" project, mm-hmm. um, in in Christmas. I don't know if we mentioned that here last time, um, and that was cool. But it was kind of like even doing that. There's people who do that like every week, by the way. Hell yeah, um, it's beautiful. Um, I think like Project Paper Bag or something like that. Ones who do it. Yeah, Jaden. Um, Jaden is doing nothing. Some something right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like With this truck, the I love truck, you truck. I love you truck, which is uh, food. I know. How crazy is that? We totally. What happened with the I Love You Project and then the I Love You Truck? I'm like, wait a minute. I think they may have seen Maybe. Gabrielle's idea. Maybe. Shout Maybe. out to Gabrielle, the yeah, pioneer, real. the originator. Um, yeah, I just saw her at Vanessa's thing. She had a she had a, a screening at a at some spot about. Have you seen that that documentary with Ale- Alexandria Ocasio? 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 Alexandria Ocasio. No? Okay. Well, you should watch it, bro, and For get sure. empowered. All right? Sure, man. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go into some hot seat questions. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hot seat questions. I know. It's great. Um, I know. It's great. <laughs> listen, bro. If you were in a movie, right? And Bad Samaritan. <laughs> Let me finish a question. If you're in a movie, um, and you have a love interest in the movie, right? Think about you, like how you see yourself. You know how like you see yourself in a movie. I'm a superhero. I'm a superhero in my movie, bro. Yeah. I'm a bad motherfucker. Uh, so you have like a so your name would be like Carlito, right? Yeah. And we gave you a secret love interest in the video game. What would that love interest name be? see it's a good name you know what i mean like oh of course you know uh thelma and louise <laughs> something that makes sense like that oh um you're gonna get fired uh, i'll give you an easier one you think about that if you were in that 70s show which character would you be i know i know who you think I, you'd be fez no you wouldn't be fez <laughs> You'd be Kelso. I would be Kelso. Because you're pretty, but you're dumb as fuck. No, fuck you. <laughs> you ain't shit. <laughs> That's a good one, though. Well, shit, Kelso became Ashton Kutcher, and he's no, 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 his not, career. Yeah, I'm, I'm not talking about the real person here, sir. Don't give yourself that much credit. <laughs> uh, all right, all right, all right. If your name was a, if your name, yo, if your if your life if your life was a was a brand name of clothing, what would it be? Harmony Crescendo. What is that? My clothing line, stupid. Really? Yeah. <laughs> is that a real clothing line? Yeah, bitch. It's a real clothing line. It's you? It's my clothing line. My logo, that my sweater, Damn. my hoodies, my different clothes. It's my clothing line. Why are you mad at me, bro? I because just you shit. He doesn't even know his own friend's clothing line. I just ollie ooped him to plug his own shit. Yep. You know what I mean? <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker. Harmonic crescendo? Harmonic crescendo. A harmonic crescendo. Yeah, harmonic crescendo. People who know music know what that is. Yep, yep. Yeah, I know what a crescendo is. It's when it goes... Yeah. Goes louder, soft, yep. too loud. Pianissimo, to double forte. Double forte. And uh, harmonic, it's like harmonizing, right? Yep, yep. Yeah. Okay, well, there you go. You answered my question. Thank you. Appreciate You're welcome, that. Welcome, man. Anytime. If you were in a tribe, bro, what would your name be? If you were like a in, like a, or like a Mayan. Shark like a- bait, hoo ha ha. Yeah, that's my name, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> Shark bait, hoo ha ha. Shark bait, hoo ha. Ah, that's so fucking funny, dude. You funny Nemo ass motherfucker. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, that was funny, dude. That was good timing, dude. I had to leave. It's all good, man. It's what I do. All right, shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's what I do. Well, shit, man. Um, all right, bro. We get to the same part. We always ask our, 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 our guests, right? Yeah. What is your 
You remember? You, did you remember that Animaniacs? Yeah. Remember that it's Animaniacs. Animaniacs. <laughs> Anyway, Doesn't that show, sense. at the end of every show, they would, spiel, they would spin a big wheel. And they would go, wheel of morality, turn, turn, turn. Or wheel of morality, turn, turn, turn. Tell us the lesson that we should learn. Uh, remember they used to do that? I do remember that. That's crazy because it happened. Shit. That's a- yeah, so they used to have like a deep message and shit at the end. Some, <laughs> sometimes. Sometimes they'd be like, don't eat yellow snow or some shit. <laughs> that's gross. Um, what would be your wheel of morality? Wheel of Carlito. Turn, turn, turn. That's a lesson that we should learn. Um, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You already fucked it up. God damn it, bro. Damn it. I gave you one job. <laughs> okay, go. I'll never be nothing. Take two. Take two. It's all good. We're good. Um, I would say it's okay to question things. Question things more. I know a lot of people are like, man, just let it go. Just let it be. No, man. Um, find answers to things. Ask questions. Uh, no, no, no. You can't do that. Why? That's what you did last time. Give me another one. I did? Yeah, because that's a, you do that in life. I need a new okay, one. Okay, edit that out. No, I'm not going to edit it out. Bitch. <laughs> All right. We're just going to give you a new one. All right. Um, yeah, you're on the spot now. Fuck bitches, get money. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. No, for real. Hey, you, uh, said, you can't be changing what I'm going to say from the Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, All right. That wasn't from you, but it is from the heart because that's what you do, right? That's yeah. what you do. Well, be good to people. Don't. I'm just saying, if I, uh-huh. I'll give you a scenario now. Now I'm gonna give you a scenario. You I just, guess took, I, you just I didn't my question. You, no, this is my. They are, this is your show. No, I, I know. know I know. Everything. I know. I'm just saying. Let me set you up better. I fucked up. It was my fault. I take full responsibility. <laughs> you better. Okay. So. All right. We, you so, know how they invite us to like, you know, and I, to go out to places or whatever, and people are like, man, I just don't know. I don't know, man. I don't feel good. What do I do to feel better? What do you do when you don't feel good? Masturbate. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to do it. You know, hey, you got to Honestly, gotta get some release. it works no, no, for no, a it, lot it, of people. It, what, I would say, what I would say is just um, find what makes your heart tick. You know, uh, put your head in a good place. And you don't necessarily don't feel like you need to stay in one place all your life. Okay. You can move somewhere. You can go on vacation. You can come back next year. You know, as long as you're happy and you're healthy, is that who, 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 your your sanity should matter. We are all gonna die one day, everybody. We are mm. all gonna die one day. Um, you good over there? Yeah, I'm agreeing, bro. I'm so, going. I'm <laughs> going mm, mm, okay. Um, we're all gonna so die. please, Fuck just, yeah. just, just, just. Just do what makes you happy. And I know there's a lot more planning that goes into it. You can't just pick up and move to Chicago or move to L.A. like just like that. But put planning man. to it. No, you can do it in six months. You can do it in a year. Do it. Stick to it, man. And and be a man or a woman of your own word. You don't have to, like, I'm not I'm not talking about it with, with other people, which you absolutely should, but with yourself. Yeah. If you want to do something, do it. And I know we, we have ADD sometimes, and I know life happens or other hobbies or other things kind of come into our path. But if you decide that you want to do something or be something, even if it's hard, stick to it, you know, because it's, it's doable. And that's it. Damn. See, that's why, that's why I stopped this dude the first fucking time, because that's what I was. You're welcome. You see, that's what that's what that's you know? why he stopped me all eighty seven thousand six hundred and fifty two times. But hey, who's counting? Huh? Right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, What's up, man? Thank uh, you for, for having me on, my dude. Yeah, bro. Thanks for being on, man. This is basically how me and him normally talk, like all the fucking time. Yeah. yeah him yeah. interrupting me and shit. Yeah. So this is not like a real podcast. This is me just like yeah. at his house. <laughs> yeah. 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 So that's why that's the environment I want, bro. Mm-hmm. I want you guys. Just sit in a circle with me while we drink coffee, talk some shit. And pure vibe. No, don't do it. Don't do that. Don't do it. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. He goes to 7 Eleven and buys plastic bottles. You. I'm not. You don't even recycle. You don't, I know you I don't. I do recycle. I was going to put it in your recycle. We got to okay. question all the shit he does. Uh, <laughs> I'm fucking with you. Uh, anyway, well, shit, man. You got a lot of, you got a lot of good things happening. And, Thank and, you, uh, bro. I'm excited for you, dude. Because you, I think that was a big part of, a big part of your. your uh, formula it's a big part of all of our formula like what's that your your team you know yeah and i think that's that's a big thing that you say to like you know don't be scared to make a change don't be you know scared I mean? don't you be just scared. made a change with yep. management yeah man and 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 that's why shit's been popping off like that Bro, it's and just like, it's happened and you know it, life life is taking off man. So, so yeah don't be afraid to make a change guys and everything's gonna be okay yeah yeah 
Right, Hopefully, Papa. thank you um, for, for helping me on my audition too. Yeah, 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 hey, dude. Book this. Yeah, I will out of it to you, man. Yeah, yeah. So, well, you bitch, you owe me lobster. Um, I got you. And then, uh, but yeah, man. Uh, so that's episode eighty-three. Yeah. 83. Damn, I can't wait till you get to one hundred. Yeah, dude. We'll uh. celebrate. We'll celebrate then. Um, you got it, kid. You booked the part. No, that's my mom asking mm. if. Uh, hey, mom. I saw the text saying that because she's copied in the chain mm-hmm. as well. Mm-hmm. Did I have yeah. something with my teeth this whole time? I feel like I did. Anyway, I, I boom! Episode eighty-three. Kiwi's ready. Right yeah, that's another one in the books. Thank you, Carlito Rivello. Go check him out at Carlito's Way eighty-nine. Yep, right. Yep. Uh, and uh, you get the new album drop. We have an estimated date when the new album's gonna drop. I don't know, man. To be honest with you, maybe in a couple of months. Yeah, go check out Step Up High Water Season yes, One do. and Two on YouTube. Amen. Uh, and yeah, man. Shit. You know. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, mate. mate. See you guys. All right, bro.